How's it going, y'all? I'm going to be trying out Spatial Audio Dolby Atmos on my iPhone 11 Pro here with the AirPods Max in this video for the first time. This is a new feature that Apple Music just launched today and it's rolling out right now. I just noticed on my phone, I'm looking at the weekend here and you can see there's a new little icon that says Dolby Atmos. Haven't even tried this yet, so y'all are witnessing this first with me. First song's gonna be Hardest to Love by The Weeknd in Dolby Atmos. Let's try this out. Sounds good. So I'm hearing the Dolby Atmos. I'm trying to hear like what exactly is going on here. I'm like, what am I supposed to be hearing? It does sound like it's a little more spacious, a little bit more like wide on the stereo field. Like some of the reverbs and stuff seem like they're circling around my head. Ooh. It's making me make noises with my mouth, so. It sounds good. I don't know if it's game changing yet. I'm gonna have to mess around with this more. One of the immediate things I'm noticing, my normal listening volume is about right there. It's like maybe 65%. And when I have Dolby Atmos selected, I have to turn my volume up to like almost maximum, like just to be able to hear it at a kind of normal volume. Playback is definitely a little choppy, but who knows what's happening with the servers right now because everybody's probably trying to do the same thing that I'm doing right now. All right. Patrick Tomasa was like, Positions by Ariana Grande. Let's check out Positions. This is definitely buggy. I'm playing this right now on my iPhone and it's supposedly playing in Dolby Atmos, but I can't hear anything in my AirPods Max. In order to get it to play, I actually had to take off the audio. I had to put it back on my iPhone and then put it back on the AirPods Max to get it to play something. Okay, now it's working. I'm all looking around like, am I supposed to be like hearing like a sparkle over here, over there? So just to try this out, I turned off spatial audio, the Dolby Atmos by tapping on that. And then I turned off spatial audio in that little setting right there. And when I turn that off, all of a sudden the volume is a lot louder. And I also noticed that the Dolby Atmos little symbol down there was replaced by a little symbol that just says lossless. I'm pretty sure AirPods Max does not support lossless audio over Bluetooth, but when you see lossless down there, and we're in the AirPods Max, and I'm pressing play, it's a lot louder. <laughs> Dolby Atmos is cool, but it seems like the volume levels, you gotta turn it up to get more of the spatial effect. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna switch it back to spatial audio. So again, I'm gonna turn the volume way up here. I must say though, it does sound pretty spacious. That's pretty cool. It definitely seems like it's pushing the mids a little more than normal, like the voices and stuff. The sub bass doesn't sound quite as thick to me using Dolby Atmos. Okay, with spatial audio off, the bass sounds deeper. It sounds more crisp in the high end. The AirPods Max already sound good to me, so the fact that they're trying to implement these new features I think is really cool, really bold of Apple. And they're also not making you pay any extra for the lossless slash Dolby Atmos stuff. It's already baked into the Apple Music subscription. That's a plus as well. So when you tap on the lossless icon right there, it gives you this little pop-up. And if you press on audio quality settings, it just takes you back into the main settings app and you can turn lossless off, you can turn it on. There are a few more options. There's cellular streaming and there's lossless. And in order to get true lossless, I believe you have to use a wired pair of headphones. Dolby Atmos sounds cool. Um, it definitely sounds more spacious. It sounds like there's more kind of drama happening in the sides and maybe even above me and below me and behind me. It's kind of insane how they do spatial audio for music, like surround sound music. I think that's a really cool concept. I'm kind of curious how us musicians can make music for that platform as well. But honestly, the fact that I have to turn the volume up is a little concerning to me because then the volume stays really high and then I might watch a YouTube video next or something Thing, and it'll blast my head out into a new dimension because it's so freaking loud. I don't know if I would use the spatial audio thing just for the volume issue alone, the fact that you have to turn it way up. And it seemed like with spatial audio, the fidelity 
a little bit of it was lost. Some of that deep bass, that sub bass, the rumble from the bass. Seems like the trebles and the bass kind of push themselves back in the mix a little bit. And I actually kind of preferred the songs without the Dolby Atmos on, honestly. But it just launched today, so maybe they will figure out some way to normalize the audio so it's all nice and loud. But I think the technology is really cool, and I really want to try out a pair of wired headphones, such as these ones, which are the Drop Panda. These are an amazing pair of headphones that Drop sent me, and these support lossless audio and that high fidelity lossless audio through a wired connection. So I'm gonna be trying that out pretty soon too. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to try out the Dolby Atmos thing. I think it's a really cool technology. I think it has a lot of potential with some of these bugs worked out. But let me know what you think in the comments. Did you try out Dolby Atmos spatial audio on your device? Did you think the audio was crap? Do you think it was delicious? Do you prefer the lossless quality versus the high quality, the normal quality, whatever, there's so many qualities now. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, like this video, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.